five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. This is Mark, and I am here for a special Valentine's Day live stream lesson. Um, it's not a normal day, but I usually um, do my live streams on Friday, but today I'm doing it today on Thursday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. I will also for sure do tomorrow, I'll have a live stream tomorrow in the regular scheduled time. Okay, and um, I'm looking here at the live stream and I see a few people. Hello, hello, and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And um, today here in Japan, it's February 14th, Valentine's Day. But where you are, it may not be. Anyways, if it isn't, then that's okay because we're just talking about Valentine's Day. And okay, great. So I'm looking at the comments here and I see people from Morocco and um, people are saying happy Valentine's Day and I want to say happy Valentine's to you okay great and so here there's some worksheets that are available on my website markkulik.com and you can download these anytime but today we will be um, practicing talking about Valentine's Day with these worksheets and um, we will also talk about romance, love, friendship. <laughs> yeah and um, right here as you, as you can see I have my tumbler and I always have my coffee during my live stream lessons and I'm going to take a sip now if you don't mind. Ah yes yes yes. So, Valentine's, that is a day where couples show each other their love or their friendship or their affection by giving each other a present or chocolate or um, maybe they'll go out to dinner. Um, maybe they'll write a, a card, give a card, a Valentine's Day card and write a little message and um, that reminds me when I was um, younger <laughs> a long time ago and um, I remember getting Valentine's Day cards and um, feeling that special feeling when um, someone shows that they care for you that they um, want to be your friend <laughs> that they acknowledging their friendship to you and um, there's nothing like that feeling and um, kind of that when you're younger maybe elementary school um, kids pass these little cards this is in America these little cards and there'll be like a heart or a character on it and it'll say um, happy Valentine's Day be my Valentine um, friend be my friend and things like that these little phrases and um we we write a little note and then pass it to everyone in class and so um at the end of the day we'd get a stack of cards and that was lots of fun but then when we get older maybe um junior high school high school then it becomes a little more serious and um where, where if you get um, a love letter or a Valentine's Day card means a little bit more, a little more special. And um, oh, those were the days. I remember getting a love letter, a few love letters. <laughs> and that feeling, you go, oh, boy, somebody likes me. And it's like, wow. And maybe it's a secret anonymous letter a secret letter a secret lover and you don't know who it's from and there's that mystery like oh who is this from and it's exciting and fun 
And even back, I remember getting phone calls, like secret phone calls. Someone calling me and say, oh, I like you, da, da, da. And it's like, well, who are you? And they wouldn't tell me, right? And um, that was exciting, right? Or I would write a love letter, a secret love letter. And um, that's, that was always fun. And then um, I remember like, dating or like, a, a new girlfriend and that special feeling, that, that first love kind of feeling. And there's nothing like it. But now, you know, I'm married, kids. And so things are a little different now today. Yeah, so it's interesting. But um, it's important for us to um, try. Yeah, even though if you're married or you've had a long-time relationship and it's easy to um, forget about romance, but it's important, I guess, yeah, because we all want romance. And um, actually, my wife, her birthday is on Valentine's Day. So it's, so it's kind of a double. So it's kind of good in a way because... Um, I could say happy birthday and happy Valentine's Day and take her out to dinner. Well, today we're going to go have lunch together. And so I kind of, um, we there's an expression, kill two birds with one stone. So I can take her out for lunch um, for her birthday and for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so that's kind of good. Okay, that's, I guess I'm lucky on that part. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look here at the comments. I've been speaking to you and eye to eye so I'm gonna look over here the comments and just see every there's lots of people here and that's great and um, everyone is doing great um, here I, I have a comment here son teacher can you speak Spanish muy poquito <laughs> poquito I used to in, in high school I studied Spanish and so um, I remember some Spanish phrases and um i could just say oh como esta este oh muy bien <laughs> so i used to my spanish was okay and then when i moved to japan and i started studying japanese and using japanese my spanish kind of just left <laughs> it, it just vamos or vamos it just kind of vom Ah, oh, what's the past tense for <laughs> it left <laughs> in Spanish? Okay, good. Okay, so let's let's get going. Okay, I've been kind of jabbering about um, romance. So um, here we have romance, and so um, so romance would be like your 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 you you're showing um, your affection, you're showing your love to the other person. And um, so, so you're, you're romantic, so you might um, have a, a romantic dinner together to show your romance. And that might be, let's say, for example, at your place, at your house, you would um, dim the lights low, put a candle <laughs> on the table, maybe have a glass of wine, have a nice dinner, some soft music in the background, and so kind of a, a romantic atmosphere. Or you go to a, a romantic restaurant, right? Same kind of situation. Maybe the, the lighting is dim, there's candlelight, there's soft music in the background, and um, expensive, <laughs> it's an expensive restaurant, and so that's romantic and so just show your love right romance love right so, so so that right so we say i love you to someone who's very very important to you and love can be romance would be kind of you know to a special person um um you know a boyfriend girlfriend husband wife love is um, more has a, a, a bigger meaning like a larger circle so if we think of circles so romance is small circle right between you and one person where um, love can be larger circle and that's uh, that can include family <clears throat> um, siblings like sister brother um, parents 
children, friends, right? Like I, I have some friends that you love, right? So like you do anything for them and they're very, very important to you, but it's not romance. Um, oh, I'm looking here. Comments, I just see something that popped up. Getting ripped off, buying a gift. <laughs> oh no, so no romance. <laughs> oh no. So anyways, <laughs> oh no. Um, we don't want to get ripped off. And so actually, um, something actually, for Valentine, it doesn't have to be money, right? It could like just show you care. You do something. Um, go out for a dinner. Um, just something simple, like a, maybe a, a note, a letter, right? Expressing your love for the other person means a lot, right? So it doesn't have to be an expensive gift. It can be um, a letter, flowers, dinner, chocolate, right? That that's probably that's kind of the way Valentine's is. Yeah, it, it should be and it can be and most people I think do it that way. So we have, like I said, okay, love. So that's a larger circle. And um, there are many people in our lives that we love, right? And then um, friendship. This is also a, a good time to think about um, the importance of friendship and what friends mean to you and might be a good way for you to express to friends that they're important to you. So like a little... Um, chocolate or something you may maybe make some cookies and say oh have a cookie happy valentine's day yeah or something like that or um, buy a beer for a buddy or something like that so that's that's a good way to show your affection and show your love to your friends yeah okay okay now let's talk about love and we'll do collocation so collocations are two words that go together so words that go with love and so because today is valentine's day we are going to do collocations with love and i wrote some down here on a piece of paper okay oh by the way um have you downloaded the worksheets can you if you can um go ahead and do it that maybe right now would be a good time. And so remember, go to my, you go download these at my website, markkulik.com. And so as I'm writing down these collocations, if you can, maybe you should go, um, if you can, go download these worksheets, okay? And then we'll could do them together, all right. Okay, so, love. Love, 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 all you need is love. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay, so um, let me. I'm gonna erase this so we have space here. Space. Okay, so love, yeah, the collocation love. L O V E, L O V E. So here we go. Oh, consuming. All consuming love. So that is serious love. <laughs> All consuming. So you are, let's say, someone you love, you like, every, you're thinking about him or her all day every day night and morning afternoon it's consuming everything so oh like you have you're all consuming love so like oh she's consuming all every all my time she's using all my time i'm thinking about her all the time or i'm thinking about him all the time so it's like a, it's it's an all consuming love Let's see. Burning love. <laughs> burning. So my heart is burning, right? Like, ah, like I love, I love this person so much. My love is burning, a burning love. So that's, that is um, a, a real uh, super love. <laughs> um, deep love. 
right? So, so it's a deep love. So it's not shallow. It's not on the surface. It's deep and it, it's meaningful. So you have a deep love for your, so for example, I have a deep love for my wife. Yeah. Deep love. Um, profound profound love a profound love so it's like it's meaningful it's it it's it's real <laughs> it's profound it's super right it it's meaningful all right and let's see a perfect love perfect perfect love <laughs> I have the perfect person it's a perfect love minor love <laughs> no it's a perfect love not a minor love right I'm <laughs> um, let's see it's pure love pure it's pure love it's honest it's it it's not tainted it's pure a hundred percent one so pure is 100 percent so it's a pure love uh let's see it's lasting oh yes that's important so it's a lasting love right so it, it it keeps continuing right like you love this person for a long time. It, it's a it's a lasting love. Okay, good. Okay, let's. Okay, now let's feel. Oh, I feel love. Feel love. So Valentine's Day, maybe we're feeling love for our our special person. So oh, I feel love. So in your heart right in your heart you're feeling love i love you so much um have love so i have love for my wife <coughs> i have love for my children i have love for my family i have love for my um, brothers and sisters okay so have love okay now maybe so here some people have love and some people are searching for love search for love so some people are searching for love looking for love <laughs> searching for love oh i see ivan here in the comments i have love for my dog yeah 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 Love, okay, and I'm looking here at the comments. For, um, and we have Sonny Martinez, love is a passion, yes. But you have to be careful because maybe a passion is a, a short time, right? Where you want a lasting love. That's most important. So passion, maybe a short time. It's powerful, it's big, but it's a short time. So passion. So yeah, at, at first we want passion, but then we want it to last, right? So we want a lasting love. Okay, find love. Good, good. Search for love. Okay, feel love, found love, find love. So here, okay, here we could, um, we could put here, find love, found love. So... Okay. Oh, I found love. Woohoo! Lucky. <laughs> Lucky you. Okay. So search for love. We're, we're looking for love. We could say seek. Seek love. So we're seeking love. We're, we're same thing. We're looking for love. We're seeking love. Okay. Okay. I see um, platonic love. Uh, platonic love mm, not sure because platonic is not love or it's platonic is kind of like a friendship 
I'm not sure. I have to look that up um, to be 100% sure. But for some reason, these are collocations that go together, right? So these words go with love, like all-consuming love, burning love, deep love. Platonic love, I'm not sure about that. I have to check it. I have to check it out. Okay, um, so we search for love. Okay, we, we, we feel love. We have love. We, we found love. We're, we're searching for love. We're see Actually, it's better here. So we're searching for, for love, and we found love. Let's put it down here, found love. So we are, that's better, yeah. So let's move it, let's move it from here, okay. Let's move it down to where we're searching for love, we're seeking love, and we, but, ah, we found love, Woohoo! we found love, okay. Um, what else, what else did I see? Oh, um, how about express love? Express love. So we, we show our, our love. So we express love by saying, I love you. We express love by, by um, showing our love, right? We express love by... Um, Helping the person, right? We 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 express our love by um, doing special things like taking them out to dinner, like um, buying gifts, <laughs> um, saying "I love you," right? So we're expressing our love. Explore love, <laughs> strong love. Yeah, okay, everyone, that's good. Explore love. So I don't know, like explore love. We're like we're um so, so seeking love search for love we're, we're like looking looking explore it's like kind of examine love i'm not sure if we want to if that's a right collocation um explore love would be like like you're 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 touching it and you're you're um checking it out and you're like a scientist right you're exploring <laughs> We're, we're um, search and seek. We're, we're, we're looking for a lover. We're looking for somebody to marry, okay? Um, express love, show love. Okay, so sh I'm, I, I show, we, we show love by, by helping people. We show love by, um, um, uh, our actions, right? So, so we show love by our actions, and our actions might be helping them, um, uh, smiling and being a good person, and expressing our love. Meaning, we don't get angry. We um, always we we smile, <laughs> and so we we express our love by being a good person. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about some expressions, okay? Some love expressions, love expressions. Okay, here we go. I'm going to write them over here, okay? Can, you, can we see? Okay. Fall in love. Fall in love. I mean, maybe you, you meet someone, you're, you're dating them, you're spending time, and your love is growing and growing and you fall in love like oh i'm in love <laughs> like it's a let's say it's a hole or something right and, and you're walking walking and boom you fall and you're in love <laughs> fall in love okay and another expression uh oh uh oh Fall out of love. Oh no! So, fall in love. You be you 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 become in love, right? And then all oh, fall out of love. Oh no! Now you don't love them anymore. You now, <laughs> after maybe some time, 
and um, some experiences together, you decide, ah, I really don't love this person. At, at the beginning, you fell in love, but maybe over time, with by after dating, and maybe you uh, had some fights, and you, you traveled together, and you decided, oh, I really don't love this person anymore. So you fall out of love. Okay, I'm looking here, um, Tai Fam. She must be beautiful, I fall in love. So she must be beautiful because I fell in love. She must be beautiful because I fell in love. Okay, that's a nice one, nice sentence. Okay, um, fall in love, fall out of love. Okay, here we go. <gasps> love at first sight. Love at first sight. Whoa. So maybe you, you they're like a classmate or um, a neighbor or a co-worker or mm, a friend's friend. And you saw them and it's like, Oh, wow, and you fell in love first sight, like your heart. You saw the person before you talked to them, before you met them, but your heart's going pitter-patter, pitter, pitter it's, it's, your heart is, is jumping, and it's like, oh, no. Ah. American ESL Academy, that was my next expression. <laughs> Head over heels, yes. He so, love at first sight and um, head over heels in love. Head over heels in love. Yeah. So, head over heels in love. So, so that's it. You just can't control yourself. Your head over heels, you do flips, right? So, your head and then your heels, <laughs> a flip. So you're, 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 you're losing control. Your, um, your body is out of control. You're so much in love. You fell head over heels in love. Wow. And, uh-oh. Hopelessly in love. Hopelessly in love. Did I spell that correctly? Hope, hopelessly in love. Okay. Hopelessly in love. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I can't. I don't want to love her. I don't want to love him, but I can't help it. I'm hopelessly in love. I have no control. I don't want to. It's bad for me. But... I have no choice. <laughs> I have no control. I am hopelessly in love, and um, I can't help it, and no choice. I have no willpower, no free will. <laughs> I'm in love, and it's not, maybe it's not healthy for me, it's not good for me, but... I can't help it. I'm hopelessly in love. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't. Okay, oh, I forgot one. So here we go. Fall in love, fall out of love, love at first sight, head over heels in love, hopelessly in love, and love conquers all. Love conquers Love conquers all. Yes. Love conquers all. So, like, whatever, whatever bad things that might happen to you, um, let's say you lose your job, um, you lose your house, 
or <laughs> I don't know. But if you have love, then you'll be okay, right? So love is very, 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 very important for your well-being, very important for your health in life, right? So if you have love, then nothing can stop you. If you have love, um, you will always be happy. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So let, let's look at these again before, and then we're going to go to the worksheets, okay? So where's my pointer? Oh, it's over there. Sorry. So I have to get out of the camera for a minute. Ta-da. Here's my pointer, and I'm going to expand it. And then we're going to like go over these for one more time. We're going to review. Ready? Okay. I want you to repeat after me, okay? Repeat after me, please. All-consuming love, burning love, deep love, profound love, perfect love, pure love, lasting love, feel love, have love, search for love, seek love, found love, find love. So find fund. Find found. Find found love. Find found. Express love. Show love. Okay, these are some expressions. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Love at first sight. Head over heels in love. Hopelessly in love. Love conquers all. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, okay. Great, great. Oh, hey, Mark, I fall in love with your laughter. Thank you. <laughs> so I fell in love with your laughter. I fell, fell in love. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to take. I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard so that, um, and then I will post it on my Facebook groups page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you could check out the whiteboard later, okay? And actually, again, if you haven't downloaded them, these worksheets, go ahead and do it. And um, this would be a good time because I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to step out of the camera. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Okay, and I'm going to take a picture and I will post it on my Facebook group page. Mark Kulik, English speaking practice. Okay, so I'm going to do the countdown. Uh, four, three, two, one, and I got the picture. Okay, so I will post the, the whiteboard on the Facebook group page. And that means I can erase the whiteboard because I took the picture. And now we will practice the worksheets, okay? Okay. And there's also flashcards. So first we'll do, first we'll review the flashcards and then we will work on the um, worksheets, okay? Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, so we have Okay, so the topic is love is. And this is based on a video I uploaded on my channel, and it's love is. And so, so basically what love means, right? So love is a uh, smile, right? So however you think of love, right? For example... Let's see. So we could do like, sim it doesn't have to be people, right? Okay. So love is a big smile, right? Love is a beautiful sunny day, yeah? Love is uh, a baby laughing. <laughs> love is uh, finding the perfect song <laughs> okay so love is so what what does love mean to you love so 
Um, this morning, I went for a walk. I, I try to walk every morning, and I usually walk early. So I usually st start walking about 7 a.m. And right now, it's winter, and it's real cold. So it's hard. I don't want to. I want to stay in bed. But um, when I get out and I start walking, then I feel happy. And this morning, it was a beautiful morning. The sun was rising. And the sun was, um, and then in the in our then west, right? So the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And so on the west we have some mountains and it's covered with snow. So as the sun was rising in the east, it was reflecting off the snow on the mountains, and it was like really really beautiful. So if I wasn't up walking, I wouldn't see that. So love is a beautiful, cold morning. <laughs> love is a beautiful, cold morning. Okay, so on the, on the worksheet and in the video, we're going to practice these expressions, okay? So love is being shot with Cupid's arrow. And so love shot with Cupid's arrow. So that, that means, so Cupid is kind of like the, the love angel. <laughs> and, and so Cupid shoots people with arrows. And if you get shot with Cupid's arrow, you're going to fall in love. Okay, so, so maybe you're just happy, just minding your own business, just going for a walk, and you get shot with Cupid's arrow. Ah! And you fall in love. You see someone. Love at first sight. <laughs> love is getting your favorite chocolate. Yeah, I like chocolate. Woohoo! So love is getting your favorite chocolates. Yeah. Love is receiving flowers. Oh, thank you so much. I love these flowers. Love is receiving flowers. Love is a drink for two. So you go for that romantic, you go out to that romantic restaurant or you have a romo romantic meal at your home and you both have a glass of wine or something and you have a toast and love is a drink for two. Yes. Love is finding a love letter. Love is finding a love letter. So I remember when I was younger <laughs> and well even my wife she would send me love letters. And so um getting a love letter is very special, right? So you you know it's from someone special because maybe the envelope there's some um coloring on the envelope or some writing on the envelope. So you look at the envelope and it's going like here, right? There's a heart there. You go, before you open it, you go, oh, this is a love letter. Whoa. And so you, you open it and it's like, what, what, what's it, what are they saying? And you read it and you have a, a nice, great, fantastic, wonderful feeling. And it's a love letter. And so, yes, I got a love letter. Woohoo! <laughs> Love is, oh, smitten. Yeah, so smitten with love. So that means love, over, you, you're overcame with love. Like, ah, it bit me. So Cupid's arrow hit you. Oh, I'm smitten with love. Good. Thank you for that. American ESL Academy. Thank you. Love is opening a, pr opening a present from someone special. Right, so maybe a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife gives you a present and you open it. And you say, yes, yes, someone loves me. Love is having a key to a heart. So maybe someone gives you their key to their heart, meaning they say, I love you, and they, you have their key so you could open their heart anytime. So. It's a figurative speech or a figurative um, word, right? Phrase. So a key to their heart. They, lo they love me and they gave me 
their key to their heart. Love is a special note from a special person. A special note from a special person. So you get a little message, right? So, so a letter is like maybe longer, but a note is just a little message. Oh, I love you. And it's like, oh, that's nice. That's special. That's special. Yeah, yeah. So hold on. I need to do something here with the computer. Okay. Okay. So one more time. Sorry about that interruption. Sometimes people write things on the comment stream that I that are not good. <laughs> so we have to delete them. Okay. So one more time. A special note from a special person. Yes. So love is okay. So um repeat after me. Okay. So we'll just practice these real quick again. So love is ready. Love is a special note from a special person. Love is having a key to a heart. Love is opening a present, opening a present from someone special. Love is finding a love letter. Love is a drink for two. Love is receiving flowers. Love is getting your favorite chocolates. Love is being shot with Cupid's arrow. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, now here are the flashcards and we just reviewed them, okay? I'm looking at the comments here. Okay, real quick, comments. Um, let's see, love is never having to tell, forgive some. Okay, love is never having to forgive someone. I'm not sure. Okay, love is never have to tell, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how you want. Okay, I'm looking here, sleepwalker. How do Japanese people celebrate Valentine's Day? Maybe something special. Okay, good question. Here in Japan, it's kind of interesting. In Japan, women give men chocolates. So actually, in Japan, women show the men they love them. <laughs> men don't do anything. But on March, in March, next month, it's called White Day and it's opposite. So, so here in Japan, on Valentine's Day, men receive chocolates or presents. But in March, it's the opposite. It's called White Day where men give the women chocolates and presents, show their love. So it's in most countries, like in America, one day and both people do it. But here in Japan, Valentine's Day, women show their love. And on White Day in March, men show their love. <laughs> so it's interesting and uh, it's okay. As long as you show your love, that's all that matters, right? Okay, so let's do, here's, um, here's the worksheet. Okay, let's see. Teacher, how was the love in Japan? Um, it's like the same. <laughs> it's the same everywhere. Um, people show their love different ways, right? Um, here in Japan, um, there isn't so much expressing love, but um, yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Okay, so here we go. We have, you could see the first worksheet. So here we connect the picture with the, the phrase, right? So number one, love is, is it A? Okay, so, okay, first, okay, we have to, sorry about, okay, we have to um, connect the 
pictures with numbers, okay? So we have these white circles, okay? Or we have the red circles right here. See these circles right here. So the dictation, okay? So you're going to listen to me, and then you're going to write one, two, three, or four, okay? So next to the picture, okay? So for example, okay, so we have here, I'll write on the whiteboard. This might be easier for you to see. Okay, so we have um, four pictures, okay? One, two, three, four, and then there's there's a circle here, and then the first picture here is a heart is um, Cupid, the arrow, and the second picture are flowers. Okay, flowers. Um, the third picture are chocolates. <coughs> chocolates and the fourth pet picture is a, a letter all right all right okay so okay so we ha okay so we have the the heart the cupids cupids arrow flowers chocolates and a letter okay and then Okay, so you're gonna listen to me, and then you're gonna like which one's one, which one's two, which one's three. Okay, so um, ready? Number one, love is finding a love letter. Love is finding a love letter. So which one is one? Okay, love is finding a love letter. It's like oh, here's one right here, one. Okay. Two, love is being shot with Cupid's arrow. Two, love is being shot with Cupid's arrow. Oh, that's this one. So this, here we, two. Um, three, let me write this bigger so maybe hard for you to see. So this is two. Okay, there's bigger, bigger circles here so you can see easier okay this is one okay number three number three love is mm, let's see love is getting your favorite chocolates love is getting your favorite chocolates okay so this is three number four love is receiving flowers love is receiving flowers four Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Now, now we're ready for A, B, C. Okay, so we know here one, two, three, four. So now, now one is one A, B, C, or D. Is one A, B, C, or D. Okay. So, here, hold on. Okay, now I have free hand. Okay, so here we go. We have one, two, three, four, and here's love is, and then dot, 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 and we have space for A, B, or C. Two, love is, dot, 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 love is, dot 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 love is dot 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 okay so can you <laughs> okay a maybe it's hard for you okay a is okay here here we go okay let's see okay a okay you need to remember this a receiving flowers b Finding a love letter. C, being shot with Cupid's arrow. D, getting your favorite chocolates. One more time. A, receiving flowers. B, finding a love letter. C, being shot with Cupid's arrow. D, 
D, getting your favorite chocolates. Okay? So, okay, number one, love is, number one, love is, do you remember? A, B, or C, love is A, B, or C, A, B, or C. So maybe if you have a work, if you have the worksheet, you could see easily, but if you don't, maybe it's difficult. Okay, one, love is No, one is one. So one, one. See how it matches? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, oh, yes. B, yeah? Okay, here we go. Okay. Yes, so it's B. Love is finding a love letter. Finding a love letter. So this is, one is B. Okay, two, love is, love is, do you remember? A, receiving flowers. B, finding a love letter. C, being shot with Cupid's arrow. D, getting your favorite chocolates. Love is... Love is... A, no, two, two. Love is... A, receiving flowers. B, finding a love letter. C, being shot with Cupid's arrow. D, getting your favorite chocolates. Two, love is. Love is. Love is. So being shot with Cupid's arrow. C, whoops. That's a bad one. C. Oh, yeah, okay, good, good. Martinez, good, good. Okay, um, three. A, receiving flowers. Or D, getting your favorite chocolates. A, receiving flowers. Or D. D, getting your favorite chocolates. So it's three is D, getting your favorite chocolates. And four, love is receiving flowers. So that's receiving flowers is A. Okay, so I know it's hard. If you don't have the worksheet, it's hard. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Hold on, I, I need to do something here. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Um, Okay, let's go to the second part, okay? Let's go to the second part. And let's see, hold on a sec. Okay. Okay, so now, same thing. Okay, so... Love is A, I can't see the focus, having a key to a heart, B, a special, let's see, a special, okay, a special note from a special person, C, 
a drink for two. D. Ex opening a present from someone special. Okay, one more time. A. Having a key to a heart. A special note from a special person. A drink for two. Opening a present from someone special. Okay. So, need to change the need to change the pictures here. Let's change this. Okay. Change this. Change the pictures. Okay. Okay, let's just make make this one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just make this in order. And so the first picture, um, two drinks, like, like cocktail drinks. Okay, and then a present. Okay, and then a heart with a key. Um, how should I make the key? Oh, bad key. <laughs> okay, and a note. Okay, a note with, I love you. Okay. So this is, okay, one, two, three, four. And then, okay. Okay, one, love is A, having a key to a heart. B, a special note from a special person. C, a drink for two. D, opening a present from someone special. So one, is it A, having a key to, having a key to a heart. B, a special note from a special person. C, a drink for two. D, opening a present from someone special. Yes, C, a drink for two. Okay, good. Good sleepwalker. Thank you. <laughs> okay, two. Two. Uh, a, having a key to a heart. B, a special note from a special person. D, opening a present from someone special. Two. A, having a key to a heart. B, a special note from a special person. D, opening a present from someone special. Two is two. A, having a key to a heart. Two is, no, 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 no. Two, D. A special present, opening a special present from someone special. Yes, good sleep park. Okay, yes, this is a present. <laughs> okay, three. Okay, is it A, having a key to a special heart? Or having a key to a heart? A, having a key to a heart? Or B, a special note from a special person? Three. Three. A, having a key to a heart. B, a special note from a special person. Yes, three is A. Three A. Good, good, good. Three A. Okay, good, Ross. Okay, and four. Love is um, B, a special note from a special person. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good job, good job. Okay, let's go to the second page. Let's go to the second page. Put this up here. This goes up, 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 up. Okay, up. Okay, page number two. Page two, let me erase this so we could do two. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Two. Romance. Fill in the missing letters or missing words, okay? So I'll, I'll show you this on the camera, and then this will be easier for me. I could just do this on the whiteboard here, okay? So the directions are fill in the missing letters. Fill in the missing letter. So one, Valen's, Valentine's Day, mm -mm, February 14th. Two, she mm, me a love text. Three, I love it when I mm, chocolate. Four, four, my heart mm, when she left me. Five, do mm, really? Six, watch mm, for Cupid's arrow. Okay, one more time. One, Valentine, Valentine's Day, mm, mm, February 14th. She, mm, me, a uh, love text. Three, I love it when I, mm, chocolate. Four, my heart, mm, when she left me. Five, do, mm, really? Six, watch mm, for Cupid's arrow. <laughs> okay, a little bit of a challenge here, okay? Challenging. Okay, so number one, number one, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. February fourteenth. Okay, so we need two words. So Valentine's Day and then this two letters word and two letter word. Okay, so we need two letter words. Okay. Number so I'm going to write two. So when you, so what, what word is this? What word is this? What word is this? Two letter word, two letter word. Number two is she Okay, she mm, this is a four letter word. She, mm, me, a uh, love text. Okay. Valentine's Day is, yes, yes, yes. Okay, someone's got it. Okay, hold on, let me, number three. I love it when I, this is three letters. Chocolate. Okay, so I saw someone already. Okay, yes. Number one, Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Yes, very good. Is on. Good, good, good. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Nice. Well done. Okay, two. She, mm, me, a love text. Yes, Aza. She sent. She gave me. She sent because okay. She gave me. That's like you had. Okay, so it's sent. Because, like you send like a text and it goes through the internet. She gave me. That means like hand to hand, hand to hand. Okay. I love it when I, mm, chocolate, number three. I love it when I, mm, chocolate. Number three. 
Yeah, 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 get. Very good. I love it when I get chocolate. Very good. I love it when I get chocolate. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go with, let's do um, four, five, and six. Move this down here. Move this down here. Okay. Um, number four. Number four. Let's see. Um, my heart. My heart. One, two, three, four, five. Is that on camera? Okay. My heart. Mm, when she left. When she left me, when she left me. Number five. <coughs> Do one, two, three. Really? Question mark. And number six. Watch. One, two, three, four. Cupid's arrow. Okay. So my heart, and then we have one, two, three, four, five letter. Martinez. <laughs> Good. My heart broke. My heart broke when she left me. Oh, <laughs> so you could see the picture of broken heart. Yeah. Okay. Um, number five, do, mm, really? So the picture says, I love you, right? So the picture says, I love you. So what's the reply? Good. Yes, Aza. Do you really? Really? Do you really? Good, good. You. Do you really? Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. And number five, watch. Watch mm, for Cupid's arrow. Watch. So number number six. Watch for Cupid's arrow. Watch. Mm. For Cupid's arrow. Three letters. I, oh, watch. I don't want to. I don't want to be in love. Good, good, Aza. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. I don't want to fall in love. Watch out. Watch out for Cupid's arrow. <laughs> watch out. Okay, fantastic. Good, good. Okay, here we go. One more time. Let's review here. All right. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. She sent me a love text. I love it when I get chocolate. My heart broke when she left me. Do you really? Do you really? Watch out for Cupid's arrow. Watch out for Cupid's arrow. <laughs> Watch out. Okay, good. Okay, let's um now this this is going to be where you have to think of your own sentence. Okay, these are speech bubbles. Okay, so this is part 3. Okay? So these are speech bubbles. All right? So what are these people saying? I'm going to I'm going to erase these. I'm going to erase this. So what are these people saying? What are these people saying? What are they saying? Right? So you have to fill in the speech bubbles, okay? And actually, I have I made some flashcards. So let me put this here so you can see put this up here let's get this out 
Okay, so we have here, and I'll show you a better, show you close up. Okay. Okay, okay. So what are they saying? What are they saying? So I want you to use your imagination. I'm going to get a magnet here. Over here, okay. So we need speech bubble, okay? Okay, what? Okay, what are they saying? What are they saying? Okay, good, good, good. What? Perhaps, what are they saying? What's the speech bubble? Can you think of something? Right? To your health. That's nice, yeah. Good, good, good. To your health. Okay, good, good. To your health. Right? And so they're having a toast. To your health. And then maybe they're going to say the same thing. To your health. Hold on a second. Okay. To your health. Okay. To your health. And so w you give a speech and maybe... So maybe both people can say, oh, to your health, to your health. To your health, to your health. Okay, oh, person, okay, good. Martina says, person one, I love you, honey. And person two, me too. Good, good. So I love you, honey. <laughs> I love you. Honey, and then um, I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Very nice. Good, good, good. All right. Okay. Good. Anybody else? Any any more? We move on to the next one. Let's play together. <laughs> or let's let's play together okay let's have a good time how about that let's have a good time let's have a good time and then maybe this person says yes yes let's have a good time yes let's have a good time Yes, let's have a good time. Let's play together. Okay, good. Okay, let's let's look at the other one. Okay, let's see. Here's another one. We'll, okay, what are they saying? What's their speech bubble? What are they saying? What what's their speech bubble? Move. Let me get this out so we could change the new one. What are they saying? What are they saying? Okay. Right, so what are they saying? Okay. What's, what's their speech bubble? Okay. Here we go, make a speech bubble. Do, do, do. Okay. <laughs> okay, what are they saying? Okay, A, here you are. Here you are. Here you are. And, um, oh, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you 
so much. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Anything else? What are they saying? What what's the speech bubble? What's the speech bubble? This is for you. You are so sweet. Very I like that. This is for you. You are so sweet. This is for you. You are so sweet. You are so sweet. Good. You are so sweet. The present is for you. Oh my God. The present is for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. So the person's super surprised. Oh my God. <laughs> this is for you. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's do the third one. Okay, nice. Okay, what is number three, the third one? What? Okay, so you can start thinking now. I'm changing. Uh oh, I just wrote it. Okay, so now I need to change. Change situations. Okay, so here's the third one. Oh, um, I give you this gift, or this gift is for you. Thanks. This gift is for you. Thanks. This gift is for you. Thanks. This this gift is for you. Thanks. This uh, this gift is for you. Thanks. This gift is for you. Thanks. Okay, how about this situation? What are they saying? What's the speech bubble here what is this speech bubble the one on the bottom what's that one the sunset is more beautiful with you whoa wow that's romantic whoa the sunset is more beautiful with you. Wow. The sunset is more beautiful with you. Wow. That is romantic. Aza, super romantic. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Anybody else? The sunset is more beautiful with you. <laughs> I like it. I love spending time with you. Yes. I love spending time with you. I love spending time with you. What a romantic atmosphere. <laughs> what a romantic atmosphere. What a romantic at atmosphere. Atmosphere. What a romantic atmosphere. <laughs> okay, good. I am so lucky that you are here. Whoa. Nice. I am so lucky, so lucky to have you here, to have you here. Whoa, I am so lucky to have you here. You are the reason I wake up in the morning. Wow, wow. You guys are romantic. We have romantic people here. One more. You are the reason. You are the reason. 
you are the reason I wake up in the morning. Wow, I wake up in the morning. Wow. Wow, these are like super romantic. Being with you is wonderful. You guys, being with you is wonderful. Being with you is wonderful. Wow. Super romantic. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's this is like let's let's do this one more time. These are in, these are fantastic. The sunset is more beautiful with you. <laughs> I love spending time with you. What a romantic atmosphere. I am so lucky to have you here. You are the reason I wake up in the morning. Being with you is wonderful. Wow. <laughs> uh, it is a great day because you are here. <laughs> woo. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm like, woo. You guys. This is a romantic group right now. You guys are super romantic. It is a great day because you are here. Life is without you. Okay, life is nothing without you. Life is nothing without you. Whoa. Life is nothing without you. Life is nothing without you. Life is worth living because you are in it. Wow, you guys, this is, I'm not going to write it because <laughs> my hand's getting tired. Okay, life is worth living because you are in it. We are the romantic English army, yes. <laughs> so you guys, in the comment stream, just check out all this romance. There's like so much love. Love is in the air. Da -da -da -da. Love is in the air. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's move on, okay? So that was fantastic. You guys made your own fantastic romantic conversations <laughs> okay so let's um this is page two's finished so let's go to page three you guys are the romantic army the romantics you guys are the romantics you are the romantics the romantics <laughs> you are the romantic army romantic army you are the romantic army, romantic army. You are the romantic army. <laughs> okay, let's go to page three. This is the last page, page three. And here we go. Okay, here we go, go. Go, 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 go. So we have a role play here. Okay, and then we have some personalities. <laughs> Our song. We are the romantic army. <laughs> we are the romantic army. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, role play. A, I found a new boyfriend. B, wonderful. What's he like? A, well, he's... And then B says, I want to meet him. Okay, so personalities, yeah? So here we go. We have, um, okay, or I'm going to have to write these on the board because it's hard to see on the, on the camera here. But I'm going to read them to you, okay? And so I'll write them on the board, okay? So don't worry. Okay, so we have personalities, artistic, easygoing, sociable, friendly, energetic, Generous, romantic, kind, funny, optimistic, 
hardworking, reliable. Okay, those are um, personalities. Those are adjectives describing people. Okay, one more time, the conversation. I found a new boyfriend. Wonderful. What's he like? Well, he's, mm, so we, we say, oh, for example, he's easygoing. I want to meet him. I want to meet him. Okay, so let's write this on the board, shall we? Shall we? We are the romantic army. Romantic army. <laughs> we are the romantic army. Romantic army. <laughs> okay. A says, I found a new boyfriend. I found a new boyfriend. B says, wonderful. Wonderful. What's he like? What's he like? Question. A says he, well, he's, and then we're going to fill in the blank, and then B says, I want to meet him. I want to meet him. Okay, okay. So now we have some adjectives to describe this person, this new boyfriend. Okay, so we have artistic, artistic. We have easygoing, easygoing. We have sociable, sociable, energetic, energetic. We have generous, we have romantic, <laughs> Romantic, we have kind, we have funny, we have optimistic, we have hardworking, hardworking. We have reliable. Oh, we need an I. Reliable. And then some and then some of others that you decide, okay? Okay. Here we go again. Okay. So let's practice some more, okay? A, I found a new boyfriend. Wonderful. What's he like? Well, he's artistic. He's easygoing. He's sociable. He's energetic. He's generous. He's romantic. He's kind. He's funny. He's optimistic. He's hardworking, he's reliable, and then some other adjectives that you describe or you do on your own, and then B says, I want to meet him, I want to meet him. Okay, so let's practice, all right? So, um, <clears throat> so you're going to be A, okay? And so you're going to finish, you're going to put one of these um, adjectives in here, okay? one of these description words, okay? So these description words describing her new boyfriend, okay? <coughs> okay, ready? Okay, let's practice. You're A, so we'll do a count. Okay, let's do it again. Let's go slow and fast, slow and fast, and then, and then we can practice, okay? So we'll go slow first. 
I found a new boyfriend. I found a new boyfriend. Okay, fast. I found a new boyfriend. I found a new boyfriend. Wonderful. What's he like? Wonderful. What is he like? Wonderful. What's he like? Wonderful. What's he like? Well, he is well. He's well. He's. I want to meet him. 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 Okay, romantic. Okay, good, good. Sava. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you're A and I'm B. Okay, so let's do a countdown. Okay, five, four, three. Okay, you're A. Remember, you are A and I'm B. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Wonderful. What's he like? I want to meet him. I want to meet him. Okay, here we go. One more time. You're A. Ready? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Wonderful. What's he like? I want to meet him. <laughs> I want to meet him. Okay, good, good. Okay, so let's. Okay, so let's go over these um, adjectives again. Okay, ready? Artistic, easygoing, sociable, energetic, generous, romantic, kind, funny, optimistic, hardworking, reliable. Okay, good. All right. So remember, you can download this, right? So um, let's continue. Oh, we have some new people maybe coming in. Hello. Okay. Thank you for joining this lesson, even though you're late. <laughs> okay, so here was the worksheet, okay? So let's do the bottom part, okay, the last part. And it says, complete the sentence, okay? So th number one, they are, what are they doing? Two, they are, three, he is four they are five they are having a and then six they have been mm, for a long time okay so again you have to think about this yourself okay number one one more time they are what are they doing they are two they are what are they doing Three, he is. What is he doing? Um, four, they are a. Uh. They are a. Uh. Five. Oh, good, good, sleepwalker. Already. Okay, we went ing. What are they doing? They are. Mm. Okay. Five, they are having. Mm, or they are having a. Uh. Oh, Saba. Good, 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 good. Okay, and six. They have been mm, for a long time. Okay, good, good. One hugging. Yes, they are hugging. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this. It's all on the. I'm erasing the whiteboard, but everything is here on the workshop worksheet. You could download, and um, the answers are at the bottom. Okay, so don't worry. So I'm gonna erase this. Okay, so we could do the last part of this lesson. Okay. Okay, so you guys already getting it, aren't you? Okay. Okay. Okay, number one. What are they doing? This one where I said they are hugging, yes. Number one, they are hugging. Okay, good. Okay, number two, what are they doing? Number two. Number two, they are dancing. Good, yeah, sleepwalker, they are dancing. They are dancing. 
Okay. Three. What's he doing? He is. What is he doing? I'll show you the picture again. Number three. What's he doing? Three. What's he doing? He is. Three. He is. What's he doing? Number three. Oh, oh, okay, engage, right, right. But what before engage, what's he doing? Before proposing, yes. Proposing, very good. Proposing. Number three, he is proposing. He is proposing. Good, good. Okay, four. They are ah. Uh, they are ah. Uh, this, this is a little difficult. Four. They are ah. Uh, so ah uh, is your clue. They are ah. Uh. Okay, walking. Okay, but something more like. We're we like Valentine's Day, right? Okay, so they are they are walking. I know walking, but like like this is like Valentine's theme. So not walking. They are ah. Uh. So they are ah uh, walking. We don't use. So the ah uh is your clue. So if we say walking, we would just say they are walking, but. They are a. Uh. What are they? Right? So the question may be, question, what are they? What are they? And then the answer, they are a. Uh. They are a. Uh. Okay, difficult. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you the, the f first letter. Okay. They are... Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to give you a hint. F. Yes, 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 yeah. Family. They are a family. Very good. Five. They are having a. Uh, they are having ah. Uh. They are having ah. Uh. Okay, good. Yeah. So they are a uh, family. Okay. Number is five. Five. They are having a. Uh. Number five. They're having a good time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Right, okay, that's good. <laughs> They're having a good time. But um, I want to, like, um, something like, what's this called? Let me see. So what's that called? So you hit drinks together. You hit drinks together. <laughs> having a good time, yes. But I'm looking... Okay, I'm looking for a different word, okay? Um, they are having a, first letter is a T. They are having a, they're having a, no? No? No, not drink for two, no, 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 no. They are having a, here's to good health. Here's to Valentine's Day. Here's to. So it starts with a T. No, <laughs> not T. Not bl they're having a blast. <laughs> Those are all good. They're having drink for two. No, no, no. They're having a. Uh, starts with a T. Okay, I'll give you another. T okay, uh, the last one is a T. So the first letter is it? Yeah, sleepwalker toast. Toast. <laughs> They're having a toast. So like, oh, here's to 
good friends. Here's to uh, many years of friendship. Here's to a great time. Here's to so having a toast, right? So you put your drinks up, right, and you you give a toast. Okay, good. Okay, um, number six. They have been mm, for a long time. For a long time. So remember, this is um, Valentine's Day theme. So think, think Valentine's Day. Think love. They have been, yes, Lopez, married, married. So they're older, right? They're, they're old. They have been married for a long time. Good, 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 good. They have been married. They have been married for a long time. Great. Okay, let's review. Okay, here we go one more time. Let's say this together. Ready? They are hugging. They are dancing. He is proposing. They are a family. They are having a toast. They have been married for a long time. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> They have been married for a long time. Okay, here we go, real, real quick. Okay, they are hugging. They are dancing. He is proposing. They are a family. They are having a toast. They have been married for a long time. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, everyone. Great job. We, we did it. We did three pages of the worksheets yeah one two three <laughs> one two three and you can get the worksheets at my website markkulik.com so please go ahead and download those and check it out for yourself okay and um i'm gonna go now it's time for lunch i'm taking my wife out to lunch today for her birthday and for valentine's day so I have to get going <laughs> and um, thanks everyone for your great support. I really appreciate it. And please tell your, your friends and family to watch my channel. Okay. I appreciate it. And I love, I love, I upload lots of videos every week, almost every day, almost. And um, I'll be back tomorrow for another live stream. Okay. So tomorrow, um, same time tomorrow, 10 a.m. Japan time. Okay, so please come back tomorrow for another live stream lesson. And um, thanks so much. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a love. I hope, are you looking for love? Are you seeking love? Have you found love? Um, are you full of love? Are you out of love? <laughs> Have, are you, have you fallen in love? Have you fallen out of love? <laughs> so I hope you are happy. So actually the, the number one best way is to be happy. Yeah. So I hope everyone's happy and have a happy morning. Have a happy afternoon. Have a happy evening. Have a, have a happy night wherever you are because somewhere maybe someone who's watching it's night or it's afternoon or it's morning so anyways thanks a lot for your fantastic support and please tell your friends and share the love okay <laughs> and i'll see you tomorrow february 15th for another live stream lesson and i hope to see you there see you back again and take it easy everyone and i'm i'm looking at the comments here bye bye and thanks always i'm the ink the amazing world english army is the romantic army today <laughs> so 
Romantic Army. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take it easy. Bye. Okay, I'm shutting the live stream down. Countdown. I love you too. I love you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm stopping the live stream. See you tomorrow.